Hi everybody, welcome to this 360 degree video lap of the Consumer Reports Auto Test Track. I'm Mike Monticello and today we're in our latest test car purchase, the Tesla Model 3. Now if you're new to 360 degree videos, they're really cool because on your device you can scroll all around, check out the rear seat, check out the front view, check out the, the huge screen here, check out the materials in the car, you can see everything and I'll of course point out a lot of these things as we're doing this video. Now, as I said, it's a Tesla. So what does that mean? That means it's all electric. In this case, we bought the long range battery version, which uh, is estimated to have over, over 300 miles of range, which is pretty good. Now there's gonna be a regular battery car coming later, which has an estimated 220 miles of range. Uh, so why don't we uh, start heading out to the track? One of the things that has come up with these early Model 3s, because we got a pretty early version, is that some customers have said that uh, you know the fit and finish isn't as uh, good as they would like. Um, but uh, we have found so far, again, we've only had the car a few days. Let me just open this gate here, hopefully. Okay, we've only had the car a few days, but so far uh, it feels solid, it feels well built. Um, we haven't noticed any weird squeaks or rattles or anything like that. Say hi to Ryan there. Um, and, uh, you know, it's got some really nice materials on it, like this really nice suede and real wood trim right here. You can see this and the suede on the doors. Uh, so let's head out onto our road course. And one of the things about an electric car is full instant torque. You feel that? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's really fast. Uh, but the other thing we've noticed about this car that we really like is like the Model S that came before it, it has really good handling. And the steering is sharp, it's quick, it gives good feedback to the driver. We're just really impressed overall with how well it does. I mean, it really sticks to the road nicely. Uh, but one thing that we have noticed uh, is that the ride is a little bit unrefined. You know, it's like in this class of luxury cars, you need it to be a little more comfortable than this. We, in fact, I'd say we'd almost give up a little bit of, uh, of the handling prowess if the, car, uh, if the car could absorb bumps a little bit better. When you get on a rough back road, uh, it, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty stiff. But again, it's hard, to, it's hard to complain when the car handles this well. You know, it's, it's, it's really fun. And you know it doesn't have the thrills maybe of, of a uh, you know the engine sounds of of a uh, a regular internal combustion car, but man, it goes it goes really fast. We'll say though that we've also noticed a fair amount of, of road noise, you know, and wind noise. Now we're only going 39 miles an hour here, 38. That's where the the speedometer is here. But when you get up close to highway speeds, the car is actually pretty, pretty loud. And, and it's not just because there's no engine noise that you notice it. It's, it's got a fair amount of wind noise and road noise. Um, scroll around, check out the, uh, the roof. I mean, it's basically all glass other than this bar right here. And so what that makes is for a pretty open and airy cabin, uh, which is really nice. Although you can see back there, the rear shelf, as we call it, is pretty high. And what that means is you can actually, it can actually partially block the view of the car behind you. But the front view is fantastic. I mean, it's got this small diameter steering wheel, which you can have when you don't have any instruments in front of you. Because again, they're all over here on this screen. This screen controls everything. Uh, and it's got this great view out, uh, really nice position, really nice armrest. And you just feel like totally in control of the car. The view is actually kind of similar to that cab forward feeling that you get in a Porsche Boxster. Uh, or an Acura NSX. Now, um, speaking of, uh, of the screen, it really does control everything. Like I said, there's no instruments here whatsoever. Everything is over here, the speedo, the range. Um, you know, if you wanna control the mirrors, you actually press this, and then you, you would control the mirrors with these, these gizmos on the steering wheel. Now, that's a bit, this screen is a bit of a t departure from the Model S and the Model X because it does basically everything and now the downside to that is how distracting is that and we're we're trying to figure that out we haven't decided yet exactly how we feel about the screen because it is a little weird having everything over here when you put everything over there like that you're gonna have eyes away from the road time and so we're not sure yet if this is the smartest thing or not we're gonna work with it and see see how we feel we're gonna be testing this cars this car 
for weeks down the road. We're going to test its range. So we're going to get to all that and kind of decide, okay, where are we with this? Is this more of a gimmick or is this really a good thing for the future? Another thing about Teslas, uh, something that they're kind of a signature feature is, is autopilot. And this car has that as well. And so you just put that in simply by hitting this, the shifter lever actually twice. And we've painted some lines on our track to kind of mimic, uh, you know, a real road out in the real world. And, you know, so it's got painted lines here that the car follows and the car is taking care of the speed and the steering on its own. Uh, now it's actually not as smooth as you should be, or at least hopefully that you are. These systems are still kind of getting better. Uh, but it's also not designed to fully uh, take over for you. So you have to remain engaged. And honestly, the best thing to do is to be safe and to always keep your hands on the wheel anyway. So, well, we're kind of running toward the end of the track here. So that's going to do it for this 360 degree video. Uh, thanks for joining me and I uh, hope you learned some stuff today. If you want to learn more about the Tesla Model 3, make sure you go to consumerreports.org. Okay. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.